What's going down? I thought I'd be done for today. I thought I'd be done reviewing. But my man, Richard Garner. Right? Richard Garner. Not Dickie Garner. Richard Garner. Uh, good guy. Um, told me about this. Now listen, there is stuff coming out with Richard. Like I said, they've been kind of slowing down a little bit. And we just did the Home Depot um live stream we tried looking at some rigid stuff not too much stuff going on right now they got a couple decent deals again the 179 combo you get two fours and the 249 deal combo kit that you get two fours but this one is truly amazing because we all know about the milwaukee heat gun it's been out i don't know a good Six to nine, maybe even a year. It's been out for a while. But this one, I tell you, we all know about the heater that Rigid has, which let me tell you, man, again, I think Rigid has so many awesome tools. I, I, I can't stress that enough. And I like them all. Now, I like their accessory tools. And again, this is probably going to be another one. Um... I can list you 10 of, of Rigid's tools that I would probably take over any 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 brands. But when it comes to their hand power tools, I'll say it again. Drills, impacts. Now, the new impact wrench is by far my favorite, you know, power tool by Rigid. I think they did a great job with it. But again, why I love it so much is because it's priced really where it should be <coughs> and <clears throat> excuse me my allergies and you get that four amp hour battery it's just a great value for your money someone just sent me the ryobi impact wrench kit they sent it over it's 129 dollars okay and then i'll get to this 129 dollars with a four amp hour battery I'm like yeah that's a that's a pretty good price you get a four amp hour battery but for the extra 20 bucks for the extra 30 bucks, get the rigid. You got so much more power. You got just a more comfortable tool. Um, I think a better tool all around. And of course, you get that lifetime warranty. So sometimes, you know, but here's another accessory type tool that, again, they're really kind of coming out with that new, you know, innovation. Uh, this is an 18 volt butane heat gun. Now, what makes this insane or incredible is that you can refill this. Not with propane, butane, whatever you guys call it. You put it up, uh, you can refill it with butane. Now, it comes with a two amp hour battery. It's not avail available just yet, but it has a onboard refillable refillable butane tank for easy storage obviously butane sold separately and you know lock on trigger cool down mode for L with led indicator foldable kickstand for job site versatility uh you got that hex grip uh that a lot of people use the rigid stuff like the micro texture with secure grip and uh rigid powerful durable professional so and let me tell you some of their stuff, you know, we all know about Rigid and their plumbing tools. They're, they're some of the best in the world. Um, but, you know, a lot of this power tool stuff is made by TTI. Um, doesn't mean that they're not, it's not great stuff. But, you know, they make, Rigid makes stuff that, you know, their whole goal is to be well-priced, but as professional as they can for you know that lower price you know what i'm saying you know they're, they're not priced like makita they're not priced like bosch milwaukee or dewalt they're priced a little bit lower but they want to give you um a lot of the commercial and a lot of the you know professional um construction and feel and you got that lifetime warranty so this is an awesome tool that's coming out uh, again, Richard Garner, I want to thank him for it. Um, it's the first cordless 
This is the first for oh no okay. This is the first for cordless heat guns. Now I just I'm just I just knew about this five minutes ago. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like I got to tell the peeps about this. But uh, the built-in butane tank cuts down on size and weight. The locking trigger and enhanced microtexture grip allows for longer use time with less finger fatigue. A standard 1.25 barrel size makes the rigid Gen 5X compatible with standard heat gun attachments. So that's what makes it awesome also. You can put all different attachments on this. Um, you know, this is a better buy than I'm not going to say a brand here, but let me tell you something. When this heat gun comes out, I can just tell um, I think it's going to be a big, big seller for Rigid, and especially for those guys who use the heat guns. Um, this is something that I think they're really going to like. Um, you know, they're now expanding that Gen 5X, you know, platform. Now, it's something um, that I think for the price you can't beat. I mean, again, battery, charger, and obviously the heat gun, 129 Um, They're starting it. I mean, I've seen such a change in their pricing over the past year also. They, they have really, I think you're starting to get a lot for your money. Now, we talked about the um, orbital recip saw. Again, it, it's really hard. I just want to hit that up real quick. Because we all know about Milwaukee's new super saws all that's coming out. And they have, obviously, the orbital uh, feature now. But this has been out for a little while. And this is their newer uh, recip saw that hopefully I'll find here. But they've had the orbital feature on their uh, recips for a while. But this is 119. No. Their brushless, new brushless Gen 5X. I don't know why it's not here. Are you kidding me? Oh, they got the Fuego. You guys remember the Fuego. I mean, you have to put everything in here. Like, if you don't put brushless... I mean, jeez. Come on, baby. There she is. There she is. You most beautiful girl. Go down. You got me going. All right, 149 bear tool. Okay? But there is a kit, and when I'm going to find it, I swear. Unless it's gone. It could be gone because I talked about it not too long ago, but it was a while ago. Oh my God, they don't even have it anymore. They had a, um, that's nuts. I'm sure it'll be back around Christmas time. It was around Christmas time. Um, oh, this is the Octane brushless, too. Where is this their regular brushless um, recip saw? I mean, jeez. This takes up so much time. Just show me every recip saw that Rigid makes, please. Just do it for me. Please. Will you? Love you. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Unless they don't have it anymore. I don't have to find an old video. But anyway, $199. Two four amp hour batteries. Oh, here it is. Gen 5X cordless i don't know if this is the brushless one though no. unless it's the octane which i don't know i don't think it is i think the octane is is one of their new all right saws yeah i want saws man oh here it is this is the one i want right this one this is the one i freaking want i think about you yeah i do I think about you. <laughs> Make your power tools last a lifetime. Make it last forever. 
This won't go down. I don't know why. Well, they just had a picture of the saws, man. But um, I'll have to do a video of it from my old video. I went over the Ryobi brushless recip saw, and I went over the rigid. And in the video, I talk about how I would buy the rigid just because it has the orbital feature. You get two fours, and you're spending $30 more. I think it was one. Actually, I think it was probably. I think it was one sixty nine for the Ryobi and one ninety nine for the Rigid. But you got two fives. There was just a picture of it on saws. Here, I'll go back. But now they don't have it. Now the Octane, again. I I think that's not the same as their brushless. It could be. I don't know if they. You know, maybe they just changed the name now. I I mean I don't understand. But I think the Octane is a new one. It's a good question, because here's their regular 18 volt. And again, unless this is it, I don't know. I don't know. Good question, but this is kind of like nonsense. Anyway, rigid heat gun will be available. But um, talking about that, we're still waiting for the 9 amp hour um, rigid battery. And, um, again, just like the Ryobi, it should be out very soon. Now, I think in certain kits, I remember Sean Perry Benjamin telling me that in, in certain kits, you're going to be, this is really slow today, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can... I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, search Ry Ryobi Recip. It was around Christmas time. But again, they could have just changed the brushless um, orbital Recip to the octane orbital Recip. I mean, who knows? But yeah, you can grab two fours for 99 bucks still. Um if, they're, if these are the only batteries they're going to show me, I'm just done. Well, we got the 6 octane. I don't know, 129 now for one um, 6 amp hour battery. Again, I don't know, man. That's a little steep. I mean, you can get two 4s for 99. The new Ryobis, right? The, you know, you get two 6s for 119. They want... Uh, hopefully, there'll be some deals. It's kind of new. Oh, they finally added a battery with their SDS. I talk about this all the time. About Because it was just 249 bare tool for this rigid uh, SDS. And I'm like, 249 I mean, not for nothing. Rigid, probably pretty good. But you can get a Bosch Bulldog. Again, not one of their major monsters. But they have a, so many different SDSs that um, I think I'd go that route. But now they're throwing in a battery. so And they had that great kit with the, um, you know, this router, too. This got to be a longer video. But um, it's good. So we can talk rigid a little bit. We don't get to talk about it too much. Yeah, people ask me, too, because I'm looking at the 12-volt. I don't know what their plans are. Um, hammer drill 149 with two two amp hour batteries, not bad. Yeah, 179. I think this is the one. Yes, I think you get the two fours maybe with this one. Also, I thought there was a 179 and a 249. Um, but like this kit for 499. I mean, this is all you have to look. Let me just see something. Might be all brush tools. It's a lot of money to spend for a bunch of brush tools, you know. I mean, that does look like the newer. Because um, they do have a Gen 5X circular 
and they have a brushless circular. They look exactly the same. I have both of them, actually. Uh -uh. But anyway, they got a cool heat gun coming out. Again, uh, I think we're going to start seeing Rigid get, um, you know, they got now they have the new Octane batteries out. I think they're really going to, you know, there's really only one, one reason for them to come out with an Octane kind of platform here. Um, now, obviously, TTI is doing it with every everything. You see now with Ryobi, with their new batteries, going to give you a little extra boost. Milwaukee, they got the big 12-amp-hour packs. Um, you know, Rigid has the Octane. So, you know, people say it all the time, uh, you know, homeowner, homeowner, homeowner. We all know it. Yes, they are. They're not made like it. They're not going to last as long. But I don't know. It makes no sense why a homeowner would need all this power, you know, that these rigid and Ryobi tools are starting to have, you know, for Joe Schmo uh, on the weekend there who needs to fix a light in his attic or in his, you know, basement. So they, they want the trade, some specific trades to start using some of this stuff. I don't care what they say, but, you know, they're starting to really, you know, I don't know about in the long run if it's going to help these premium brands. I think it's going to hurt. You know, I think that's why Stanley Black and Decker didn't want to go crazy with Porter Cable. They didn't want to make them, you know, because the guys who are my age, man, remember Porter Cable, they were monsters, man. They were big commercial tradesmen used tools. And now they're in your lows looking very lonely and sad. But still good. I never I have had great experiences with the Porter Cable stuff, but we kind of had a talk and we also checked out their new heat gun but again check it out people i'll put the link below all right peace